Hey guys, Ty here, hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial for you on how to respond to your YouTube comments using voice dictation so that you can actually connect with your viewers instead of using the canned YouTube prescribed responses or AI generated responses. And this is gonna be way quicker than typing out things as well. So step number one is we're gonna use software called Whisperflow. This you can get for both PC and Mac. It's free to use, although they do have a paid option, but you can certainly get away with just the free version. And as you can see with me, I've been using it at around 150 words per minute, which is probably three times faster than I could type. So let's take a look on how it works in the YouTube studio on desktop. And I'll give you a mobile tour after I do the desktop version. You're gonna come into your community and then you will filter all of your comments to unresponded so that you're just looking at the ones that you haven't gotten to yet. So let me just show you how I would normally do this and then how Whisperflow helps out. The first thing I would normally do is hit the heart, the thumbs up, reply, and then I would start typing. And the typing is slow, right? It's like 40 to 50 words per minute. I don't know if that's good or not, but that's kind of my speed. And then I'd have to click on reply. Now, what you'll notice is that in the YouTube studio, YouTube will often give you canned responses of things that you could say, but I don't necessarily feel like those connect in a meaningful way. And they're not always in my own voice or how I would sound. Also, vidIQ, if you have the extension, has this generate reply button, but when you click it, it's a little bit sluggish. It takes a few seconds for them to come up with a couple of responses that you can use, and oftentimes none of these work because they're just not in my own voice. It's not how I would actually talk to people. So again, we don't really want to use AI all that much in this case because we want to have a connection with our viewers, so we want to use our own voice. So what I would do is the heart, the thumbs up, I hit reply, and I have whisper flow mapped to my control key on my keyboard so that when I press and hold control, it lets me dictate right into my microphone. So in this case, this viewer saying, small YouTuber here, we got this. I wake up every day with excitement for my channel and making new recipes for my channel. Awesome, that's super cool to hear. I'm so glad you're having a great time. What kind of recipes do you make? And there it is, everything I just said now in the reply box and I can press command enter and it sends the comment. Moving on to the next one, heart, thumbs up. They say, thank you for the insight. This video really helped. I'm two months in my journey on YouTube. Awesome, congrats on getting started. How's everything going in your first few months? Let me know. Move on to the next one. In this case, heart emoji. You'll notice it can do emojis, which is pretty cool. It can actually do punctuation. And the cool thing about Whisperflow, unlike the native dictation on Mac and on Windows, it uses AI to auto format what you're saying. And so and sometimes it'll actually create a second paragraph for you, which is kind of cool. It knows to use, if you're trying to do a bullet list, it can do a bullet list for you. And it knows emojis and it knows punctuation, which is neat. So we'll just keep going down here and I can show you just how quickly you can get through some of these. Congrats, my first YouTube is about my dog. Very cool, what kind of dog do you have? And what the, what's their name? A great video, appreciate the authenticity. Thanks for pushing me forward. You bet, Melissa, thanks again for watching, really appreciate you. Here's a bit of a longer one. I think the longer ones deserve a longer response. So, whoa, that one sentence hit me. I'm 65 years old and I don't have the time to care about what other people think about me. So true, I've been watching for years, waiting for you to, uh, waiting for years to start, start my business. Yes, thank you so much for calling that out. That's a really important line in the video and something that really stuck with me since my early journey. And um, I'm really glad that that connected with you as well. Have you gotten started yet? If so, how are you feeling about things? Let me know. All right, and you'll see here how it's created the second paragraph, which is kind of cool. So this is the flow that I've been using, and this is helping me get through my comments much more quickly. Now, let me give you a demo on how you can do this on your smartphone using just the native dictation. All right, so from your mobile device, the first thing you're gonna need to do is go into your YouTube studio, and then from your home screen, your dashboard, look for the community tab there on the bottom right, click into that, and this is gonna get you to all your comments. You might wanna refresh it and just make sure that you have the right filter set for unresponded so that you're looking at just comments you haven't gotten to yet. So. Here's how you can do this on your mobile device. So I always, again, do the heart, the thumbs up, hit the reply button. And then from here, you can use the native dictation. So I'm using an iPhone 15 with iOS. On the bottom right, there's the little microphone. You can click on that. And their comment says, you are lucky. I've been going at it for over two years. And I've not made one cent up to date. And it's only 800. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Keep, uh, keep slugging along. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let me redo that. Actually, that's not good. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Keep slugging along. You're almost at 1,000. What's your channel about and where do you think you're getting held up? And then you can send it. Let's get to this other one. All right, so Larry's saying, I would rather you talking versus captions that I don't want to see. Get your face in there, Larry. Wow. Okay, Larry, thanks for the comment. Uh, first of all, it seems like you're being a little impolite by demanding that I show my face. I have over 100 videos on my channel where I've shown my face. So if you're not a fan of me trying new formats, you might want to consider another channel. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Have a great week. All right, you guys, was that, too, was that too severe for Larry? I don't know, man. Comments like this kind of irritate me. When people are like so demanding about how you should be making your videos, just a little point of frustration for me. I'm going to send it because that's how I feel. Sorry, Larry. Here's another one. Um, this is from Sneaky Curse CR. I got five subs, which took me from 57 to 62, my most in a single day. Anyways, let's see how much I can... Awesome. Congratulations. That's really cool to hear. How are you doing so far? Uh, how are, how else are things going on your channel? And you can send it. So that's just the native dictation on iOS. You can use Whisperflow on your phone. Um, I have it installed as well, but honestly, I feel like the native iOS dictation gets the job done. Unless you need to do some more advanced things, you can use Whisperflow. But Whisperflow seems to work really great on desktop, whereas the native dictation on your smartphone, you can just use with the built-in software. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. How are you responding to your comments? Do you use AI? Do you have any kind of automation setup or using voice dictation like I just showed you? Let me know and I'll talk to you guys soon.